We have to get to zero emissions by 2050. When people hear that and then see uh, how the economy and how society is configured at the moment, they think there's, that's just a sheer impossibility to turn this super tanker around uh, and get to zero emissions. How do you begin uh, to address the cynicism in the hearts and minds of a lot of people who think that that's totally unobtainable? Well, yeah, so the, I guess the first thing to say actually is that the, the challenge is much more difficult than even that. So the, the, the 2050 goal is the one that we've all become aware of, but this, it's crucial to understand this is a, this is a global objective, a global target. Um, and the Paris Agreements recognizes the principle of common but differentiated responsibility, which means that nations that have contributed mo you know, more to historical emissions have a responsibility to reduce emissions to zero more quickly than nations that have contributed less, right? So we know that the, you know, the nations of the global north um, you know, are, 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 are the ones that are primarily responsible for the vast majority of, of excess emissions that are, that are driving climate breakdown. And so according to scientists in the Stockholm Environment Institute, um, high income nations like the UK, like the USA, need to reduce their emissions to zero by 2030 at the latest, right? So, oh, um, so this is much more dramatic uh, than, than most people are willing to consider. The crucial thing to grasp here is that the, the, inter the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change itself is clear that the only way that we can accomplish this kind of really dramatic reduction in emissions is, um, is by changing the way that our economies work, okay? Because right now we have an economy that's organized around growth. And the problem with, with pursuing growth is that growth entails, uh, entails and, and requires increasing energy use, right? And the more energy that our economy uses, the more difficult it is to cover that energy with renewable alternatives in the short time we have left.